What makes someone reach beyond the boundaries of human experience to face the unknown? As children, we question the world around us. We learn, we accept, and gradually we lose our capacity for wonder. But some do not. The explorers, the seekers of truth. It is these pioneers who define the future of mankind. The others, they're done. No amount of money is going to get them through those mountains. The lost city's up there, somewhere. That's going to be a hell of a climb. I'm not turning back. I know. You should stay here with them. Not a chance. anything up here your dad would be proud I know but I have a good feeling about this oh shit you okay lost my footing I'm fine Storm's getting closer. We have a couple hours at most. Should be enough time. What do you think? We're close to something, Jonah. I can feel it. Just this last stretch to the top. All right. Let's see what's up there. Right. 
There's lots of this ice up here. Let's take it slow and steady. Oh, shit. That was close. It is the greatest cruelty of life that we're all too swiftly taken from it. We age, we decay, we die. But what do we leave behind? Bones? Dust? What of the soul? Does it endure beyond our earthly existence? I believe it does. A truth lies at the heart of many myths and stories. A truth not of science, but something more profound. The key to unlocking everlasting life. I may have found the next piece to the puzzle, but I'm not alone in this search. 
They're following me, watching my every step. I know them by name now. Trinity. An ancient, violent sect with designs on controlling the future of humanity. I must proceed carefully for the sake of my family. If anything were to ever happen to Lara or Anna, I could never forgive myself. the gutter press was attacking you again. I thought you could use some company. No lies. Were you followed? Followed? Of course not. What's going on? I think I found the tomb. Oh, you can't be serious. The myth of the prophet is real. Dad was right. Lara, your father was unwell. No, he was close to a great discovery, tangible evidence of the immortal soul. I loved Richard. I would have married him if he'd asked. But he was a broken man. I don't want to see you end up like him. But Anna, he was right. It was everyone else who was wrong. The tomb's in Syria. Syria? Oh God, Laura, no. This is madness. Get your life sorted. Go home to the manor. You know I can't go back there. But this obsession ruined your father. I saw something. Something I... I can't explain. Now I understand what Dad was going through. It's all fairy tales. Nonsense. Don't go down this road. You know where it leads. It's the only thing that makes sense to me now. I'm going to find the Prophet's tomb, Anna. Hey, we're heading into a war zone now. We better be sure about this. We're close. There should be an oasis in the canyon just ahead. You're wasting your time. There's nothing out here. Just keep driving, please. It's your money. Something isn't right. Oh, that's just local militia. You told someone, didn't you? They, they paid better than you. Supposed to shoot at us. Get us out of here! Shoot! Shoot! <sighs> no! No! No!
No turning back. It has to be here. There was something in Dad's research about this. It was said the Prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the Forgotten Cities. Legend speaks of an oasis where the Prophet was laid to rest. religious icon, detailed and inlaid with gems. It looks Byzantine, perhaps 10th century. It fits with the legend of the prophet. <sighs> Could this really be it? shown here performing healing miracles dad's notes mention this these are the miracles of the prophet of constantinople unjustly murdered by order of trinity it's the prophet speaking with a foreign army he convinced them to lay down their weapons he led his followers through the desert to the oasis pursued the prophet and his people relentlessly until finally confronting them in their hidden oasis.
There was a battle here. Armed soldiers against religious pilgrims. The Order of Trinity. The Prophet slain by the Order of Trinity. My son. The Order of Trinity has received word that the Prophet's followers are building a great tomb at an oasis outside Berea. But more upsetting, while we thought they were building the tomb for their Prophet, Trinity now believes he still lives. We have learned he is preaching his heresy among the local citizens, drawing more to him daily with his tales of how he conquered death. He is a liar and a heretic claiming miracles that come only from the divine. You swore he was dead. Have you failed us? Damn it. That was too close. They're blasting their way in. religious symbol, but this one is simple and handmade. The Prophet must have drawn followers from every walk of life. What you say is impossible. 
I myself drove a spear into the Prophet's heart. I saw him die. Doubtless, his people have propped another man up in the slain Prophet's robe to continue his lies. They are broken, discredited, and exiled. We will head south, and put the rest of his people to the sword. But the Prophet is dead. This, I swear. My lord, I ride at the head of a small army of the faithful, armed and ready. And I have good news. We have located the tomb of the Prophet. We were attacked by madmen upon the road, wearing the Prophet's livery, but they were easily bested. We allowed one to flee, and followed him back to the Oasis. Whether the Prophet escaped death, or whether another now wears his mantle, it does not matter. All will perish inside and it will become a tomb at last. My lord, the last remnant of the Prophet's followers have barricaded themselves inside his tomb. We have made camp at the entrance, and we are preparing to break through their barricades. I saw the man claiming to be the Prophet before they sealed the gates, and I admit, he bears a striking resemblance. But it could not be. No matter. They will all be dead before sunrise. The Order of Trinity will see that his heresy ends here. Got to raise the water. Charges!
prophet's tomb. After all this time. And the artifact? Inside. God willing. Open it. Carefully. It could be extremely dangerous. Who the hell are you? You're a smart woman. I suspect you already know. Trinity. Where is the artifact? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play games with me! You led us to this place. Look, it was empty when I got here. There was no body and definitely no artifact. Laura. There's so much I need to tell you, I don't... Did you find the Prophet's tomb? Yes, but I was followed. What? By who? They call themselves Trinity. They tried to kill me. What the hell is going on here? You're starting to scare me. The tomb was empty, but I think they were looking for the divine source. The, the artifact your father was after? There's more. I found this symbol in the tomb. I knew I'd seen it before. It was driving me insane. That's when it hit me. I saw it here, in one of Dad's books. Listen to this. The lost city of Katesh, said to have disappeared in Siberia sometime in the 12th century. Legend says that on the eve of the invasion by the Mongol horde, it sunk beneath a lake. What does this have to do with the Prophet's artifact? The same symbol. <laughs> if the divine source is hidden in the ruins of Katesh, waiting to be found, then I have to go. To Siberia? Are you kidding me? Just think. If this thing could really unlock the secret of immortality, it would, it would change everything. Sickness, suffering, death, gone. Are you listening to yourself? Jonah. We've been through so much together. You know there's more out there. This could be real. I don't care if it's real. I've lost too many friends. I don't want to lose you too. Dad never made the connection to Katesh. He gave up everything for this. Including you. Stop blaming yourself for what happened. He made his own bed. I can't give up on him. Not now. It's all I have. No, it isn't. If you stayed still for five minutes, maybe you'd see that.
us! Shit, Lara. What are we gonna do? I let them do it, Jonah. If the Divine Source is real, we've got to find it first. Siberia it is, then. <laughs> <laughs>